Today, we are working on the distributive property. You worked on this last year mainly with positive numbers, and this year we're going to step up the work we've done just a level, and we're going to include negative numbers. Let's take a look at example A. Example A is similar to the work you did in sixth grade, so this will be a good place for us to review. Take a look at this problem. In between the three and the parentheses, I do not see any operation. So that means that we are multiplying. So I tried to draw one of those dots to show the multiplication. You know, multiplication can be shown as a dot like that. So the three is being multiplied by this quantity, five X plus one. So I'm gonna show this work using parentheses, an addition sign, and another set of parentheses. Let me grab a different color. First, I'm gonna show that we're distributing the three to the five X. We have three of the five X's. Three five X's would be a total of 15 X, or you could say three times five X is 15 X. Let me grab a different color. Now we're multiplying three by one. We have three ones, or you could say three times one is equal to three. Now 15x plus three cannot be combined because this is a coefficient with a variable and this is a constant term. Since this has a variable x to the power of one and this does not have a variable, these are not like terms. So our final answer is 15x plus three. Let me make sure you understand why this is true. Basically what we're saying is that we have three of this quantity, five X plus one. We have one, two, three of them. And if you have three of those five X plus ones, then you have five X, 10 X, 15 X total, and one, two, three total. So in conclusion, when you multiply three times the quantity, five X plus one, our final answer that we get is 15 X plus three.